Afghanistan's only wheelchair basketball team is in Italy for its first ever competition. The squad, which formed four years ago, has never played a formal match. But as Imtiaz Taya reports, the Afghans are determined to win. High speeds and hard falls. This is Afghanistan's only wheelchair basketball team. They train at this purpose-built facility in Kabul. Funded by the International Committee of the Red Cross, players have come here from all over the country. Some have spinal injuries from car accidents or genetic problems from birth, but the majority are victims of the country's decades of war. These players aren't just content to keep their hoop dreams in Kabul, but are traveling to Europe, hoping to become champions. Safi Mohammed Nouri is one of them. 15 years ago, he suffered a spinal cord injury from a shrapnel wound and hasn't walked since. We've been training for four years. We've never played against anyone else or have ever gone abroad. God willing, we do well. We're a strong team. I think we can win. They're trying to hold their wheelchairs from advancing up the court. They are trained by a coach from the United States and will face Italy's national team. Given their relative inexperience, they aren't expected to win but it promises to be a special experience, not just for them, but for Dr. Alberto Cairo too. Originally from Italy, the physiotherapist has lived in Kabul for the past 24 years. He helped create the wheelchair basketball program after realizing his patients needed more than just medical treatment. They feel much more self-confident. They understand that they can do many things and they are strong enough, they, they have become stronger to to cope and to, to face the, 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 the hard life that they have to face every day in Afghanistan. It's true, to be a disabled, to be a paralyzed person, a, a spinal cord injury is difficult everywhere in the world. But here, where everywhere you have barriers, it's particularly difficult. Disabled people still face considerable discrimination in Afghanistan. Many rarely leave their homes and are often excluded from public life. But these players are determined to show the world how capable they are. Infiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Kabul.